this creator generated $10,200 in profits as a TikTok shop affiliate from a two minute video that they made talking about a product that they did not create, that they do not do customer service for, they do not fulfill. All they do is just promote the product and get paid for the sales that they gain from the video that they create organically. How exactly did they go about doing this and how can you go about finding profitable products like this because video has been up for around 60 days roughly this works out at roughly 145 dollars per day because remember this is one product from one video if this creator had made 10 videos that all did well promoting that same product you can 10x the amount that i've mentioned in terms of commissions that they've made i know it's not always very likely but just to give you an idea of what the opportunity is with tiktok shop affiliate so how can you go about finding profitable products as a tiktok shop affiliate there's a bunch of different ways but there's one particular very very easy way which i'm going to walk you through in this video if you watch all the way up until the end once again all the resources that i'm going to be talking about linked in the description um i will also have my free tiktok shop affiliate beginner course if you are interested in making your first dollar online in 2024 let's jump into this case study i'm using a tool called shop plus here which i will have a link in the description if you want to take it for a test drive and it's one of my favorite tools that i use to spy on tiktok shop affiliates see what videos they're doing see who's selling the most see what scripts they're using what they're saying in these videos how long these videos are and ultimately what products are selling the most and um, how easy it is to create these videos to sell these products or vice versa how difficult it is but most importantly for the scope of this video to understand and research the best products to start off with um, if you want to start selling products on tiktok shop affiliate now i've done a ton of these case studies here and there are some similarities in terms of how people are locating and finding products which is what i'm going to walk you through now there's a bunch of different ways you can find products to promote on tiktok shop one of the ways is you can go on tiktok directly within the tiktok shop market product marketplace and select products from there but that will take you ages it's a horrible way tiktok doesn't give you all the data that you need in order to make informed decisions uh, by the time you eventually find a product it will have taken you hours of research you can go on forums online see what other people are selling um, but again that's something that could potentially take a lot of your time however if you're using spy tools like shop plus here it makes it infinitely easier for you and saves you a ton of time to find products that will make you around a hundred dollars per day nothing is guaranteed but the chances of you getting there are much higher when you're able to test things out quicker fail quicker and move on to the next products as opposed to spending hours days weeks finding a product and having that fail and having to start again so i'm going to show you two examples here of two products that are performing very differently now the one that i'm talking about is this creator right here the product that they're promoting is called a part it's a portable um power bank um it sells at around $21 to your average consumer. The commission for this product is around 12%. So every time you sell for $21.59, you get 20% commission. Um, and in this particular example, um, this creator here sold um, a bunch of different units. They sold 6,200, uh, 6,002 units, uh, I beg your pardon. Um, and the video that they had on TikTok had 2.4 million views. This is their profile. You can see the video here. Um, and you can also take a look at the video um, and see you know, how simple and easy it is. I'm just gonna quickly play through this here. So we can see this guy's got the power um, adapter in his hand um the power bank uh, apologies in his hand he's talking through it he's just showing the different features um and he's just essentially just talking through that i'm not going to play the audio in case there is any copyrighted music how you, to use it where to plug it in and essentially how you can go about using it as your average everyday consumer nothing special no crazy edits these are just normal everyday people that have products in hand they use their phone uh, whether it be android iphone and they just talk you through the experience that they're having with the product and they link the product in the video it's that simple now we're going to compare this product to another product and then we're going to get an idea of what to take into account when you are selecting what's the best product that you can sell as a tiktok shop affiliate spoiler alert this is not the best product for the longer term i will show you a much better alternative and i will tell you why so this product right here on tiktok on uh, shop plus 
um, on the product page. So again, um, very simple. I've gone into Shop Plus here. I've gone into Products. I've gone into Top Sales. From there, I've selected the product. It's right there, Portable um, Power Bank. I've gone into the product page here. And when you get onto the product page, there's different tabs and different bits of information that Shop Plus gives you here. You've got the summary product detail at the top. You've got sales analysis. You've got videos of people that are promoting the product that you can spy on, um, influencers, and you've got customer reviews as well. What we're going to focus on here is the sales analysis. Now, this might look a bit intimidating. Don't worry. It's very, very simple. All this tells you is how the product has performed over time. You've got these two lines. One is sales and the other one is revenue. So how many sales volumes, how many units has it sold over time? and how many, how much in money has that meant. So in this case, I'm looking in the past 30 days, and as we can see, it's been doing really, really well um, at the beginning of, you know, the, around the 5th of August there, um, pretty decent amount of sales, and then it eventually started going down, and it's going further and further down, and I've got an idea of why that is. I think this is very much an outdoor product, um, and I believe this is a very seasonal thing for people that go out, like to go out camping and doing things like that. And as it's getting colder in the seasons, especially in the USA, because this is um, where this product is currently based, people are going outdoors less and less and therefore they're purchasing this product less and less. Um, you can also filter the dates for even further back. So I'm going to look here. I'm going to go back and say um, January, um, you know, we're going to look at Let's see how further back we can go, 15th of May. The reason why these dates are blanked out, by the way, um, is probably because this product wasn't listed before then, so you're not able to track data for before then. So let me go back here. Um, let me go to, yeah, so the 15th of May is when it was probably first listed, and I want to filter from that to, uh, let's say, the 3rd of September. So just having a bit of trouble here filtering. So let's go back again. So we said the 15th of May, um, and then we're going to go um, up until, oh, all right, okay, it's already doing it, 3rd of September. So yeah, as you can see, it started very low. It picked up as it's getting warmer in the season for a lot of places, and then it started declining. You can see the dates at the bottom there, 20th, um, around May, um, all the way up until now. So might not be a good idea to invest in this one if you're wanting to sell the product in the longer term, if you're wanting to promote it. It might be a good, you know, just one of thing to test out, to try out, but according to this graph here, it's not very consistent. You want these lines to be as aligned as possible and to be as straight as possible here. Um, whereas here, they're very much up and down, which indicates that this is not what you call an evergreen product. Now, as opposed to this, if we look at the 15-day cleanse, which again, I found here um, on the trending products page, um, this is not a seasonal product. And it's not perfect, but it's got more of a sales record um, more of a better sales record than the power uh, bank. As you can see, the product firstly has been on TikTok shop for at least since the 1st of December 2023. It's probably been on there even before that, but I wanted to just go back um, around since that time. Um, it's had some peaks and spikes there. Um, it's also had some low areas. Again, peaks and spikes, low areas, up and down. But for the most part, the product has been selling consistently for a number of months now, meaning it's not a seasonal product. It's not an Easter, Christmas um, type of product, Halloween type of product. It's a product that you can use anytime during the year. And obviously, it's a cleanse product. People need to cleanse and look after their bodies pretty much all year round. So very good product to consider investing in. Again, it's not very consistent. Overall, I mean, ideally, you want these lines to be as close to um, these bar lines here as possible from the left to the right. Whereas here, as you can see, it's very up and down. Um, some products will be as close to that as possible. Some won't. But this is a lot better than this power bank here in terms of evergreen products and profitability as well. Now, what you can also look at here, which I'm not going to delve into too much, is you can look at what other creators are promoting this product under the relevant videos tab here. You can look at, you know, relevant influencers, which is pretty much the same as relevant videos to me, which, you know, I, I wouldn't really focus too much on. 
You can also look at customer reviews. So here you're checking how many people are happy with the product because at the end of the day, you want to promote the product that people are going to be happy with, the product that you would be happy with if you were using. Because remember, when you're making that video, you're presenting yourself as someone that uses the product. Um, and most cases, people do genuinely use that product. If not, you want to pose yourself as someone that would use the product because you've got it in hand. So, you know, 78% five star reviews, which is really, really good. Um, four stars, 7.4%, three star reviews, a lot and so forth. But the majority is five star reviews, which means majority of people are happy promoting this product. And this is potentially something you could mention in your video as well. And if we look at the power bank, we can also check the same thing out as well. Customer reviews. 80% customer reviews, really, really good. So a lot of people are happy promoting this product. It's not, it's just not as consistent throughout the year. So I don't want to make this video too long, but things that you want to consider again, in summary, when you are choosing a product to promote, you want to a look at trending products within a tool like shop plus, which I've got linked in the description. So you can see what's selling the most, but not just that. Secondly, you also want to look at sales analysis, which shows you how well the product has been selling over time. And the more red and yellow lines you can see here across a long period of time, a month, two, three, 12 months, longer than 12 months, the more you know that it's an evergreen product that is likely to be selling all year round, which in my opinion is something that you'd want. You also want to focus on customer reviews, which you from there you want to have a majority of five star reviews ideally you know as close to 100 percent as possible five stars and four stars because that means people are generally happy with the product and ultimately you also want products that are easy to demonstrate as well you don't want to buy you know um, promote products that you're going to find yourself stuck when creating the video like you know how on earth am i going to start talking about this product i have no clue like if i was to start promoting software on this channel for people that do coding for a living if I was to start promoting software as a service for people that do back end, full stack, you know, front end development and all that stuff, how would I go about and start promoting the benefits that would appeal to those people? I don't know. So this is a good area to make sure you don't come across that stumbling block here. This is relevant videos where you can see what other people that are doing really, really well selling this product are saying in their videos. And again, Shop Plus will allow you to download the videos, download the scripts, and essentially just learn from what's working currently. Again, everything linked in the description. Thank you for sticking with us in this video. Be sure to check out the next video that is on the screen if you want to learn more about TikTok Shop and make your first dollar online in 2024 as a TikTok Shop affiliate.